Hey, greetings everyone. Today we're going to talk a little bit about can openers. I tend to eat a lot of canned food, and uh, whether or not that's a good thing is something for another conversation, but I started noticing a few years ago that the can openers I would buy wouldn't last very long, you know, maybe a few weeks or a few months at the best. And I always use these hand can openers. I stopped using those electric can openers probably at least a decade alone. It just seemed like it was one more piece of junk to sit on the countertop and also made me seem like I mean, I was a little bit lazier than I should have been. But anyway, I've been a big fan of these guys. You just throw them in the drawer and uh, when they wear out to uh, throw them away and get a new one. But the problem is, when they only last for a couple of weeks or a month or two, it gets very frustrating and uh, you start to wonder what's going on. So what I did uh, about a year ago is I went to Walmart and they had three different can openers from, you know, the super bargain cheap to their more expensive model. And of course, as we know, just because you pay more for something doesn't necessarily mean it's a better quality product. But what I did is I bought one of each of those because I was really wanting to see, you know, which one was going to last longer. And I kind of had my money on the cheap $3 one. But uh, what the results were is that none of them really last uh, more than a few weeks again. I even had one that maybe lasted two or three times. It just becomes so dull you can't even open the can. And I get pretty frustrated by it. And, of course, it probably goes without saying they were all made in China. No big surprise there. I've been a big proponent of uh, Buy American for probably you know 20 years or more, ever since I noted uh, more and more jobs going overseas so these corporatists could make more profits for themselves. But, again, that's a conversation for another time. So I went on to Amazon.com just because it's pretty much the best marketplace to research what products are out there. And you can see what other people are saying about it. But I found uh, this particular can opener here. And it's called the Easy Does It. And it's made in the USA. It's made by a company called John J. Stuby Company. And they're out of uh, Missouri. They had a lot of good reviews on the website. It's like four and a half stars, so it's a pretty good indication it's a quality product. I bought these back in mid-December 2012. We're in uh, mid-October 2013 right now. So it's been close to a year I've had, I've been using, actually I've been using, I bought two. I've been using one and I've had just the other in stock as a backup. I figured I was going to buy them. I might as well buy two at the same time. But I guess the point of this video is this is definitely a quality-made uh, product. I said the one I bought at Walmart, the most expensive one, was almost $10. And plus you had to add sales tax on top of that, so that was another $0.60. Cents. And I got this one delivered for $13 from Amazon. And it's just uh, been razor sharp ever since the first day I've had it. It still cuts like it was brand new. And it's very heavy. I'm just very pleased. I think I finally found a can opener that's uh, not a piece of junk that's going to last me. And, you know, their website makes claim that it should last you up to 25 years if you take care of it. And it's maybe even a lifetime. You know, that's yet to be seen, but I guess I'm just trying to sell you that you can find some quality out there yet, and you can still find some products made in the USA. So if you're interested, stop buying that Chinese junk. Go out and buy this one. Easy does it. Easy, D-U-Z, I-T, from Amazon.com, about $13 these days. Um, I believe they're selling on Amazon.com as made in the USA can opener, and I believe that's actually a trademark of this particular company. And also, just a few more things. Looked up their website here. It's a family-owned business, which is also nice to support them. And they've been in uh, business since 1962 in the heartland of America. Yeah, I got my scale here too. Let's just see how heavy this guy is. Give you an idea. That's ten point six ounces, so that's pretty good. One one caution though is they do note in their documentation that you can't put this to the dishwasher and you can't let it soak in water because it'll rust. And you can kind of see here, this one uh, rivet has started to rust a little bit, so I probably did let it get wetter than it should. It seems to be a, a chrome finish. Not sure why they can't come up with a finish and won't rust, but I guess it's just one caveat you have to be aware of. So I just clean it and dry it as soon as you're done with it. It should be good to go. All right, my friends. Made in the USA. Buy American made. That's the way to go. Support your fellow countrymen. Support your brothers and sisters. All right. Cheers. See you next time. Hey, I'm just taking a look here on the Amazon.com website before I close this video out. And here you can see some of these I can't help I was talking about. This particular version is called the Made in USA Can Opener. It's a black and a red version. 
See those are going for about a little over thirteen dollars. But as we scroll on down you'll see basically the same can opener, but this one is called the Easy Does It. And as I showed you before, that's actually stamped onto the one I got that came as the made in the USA can opener. And it appears from the uh, card that comes with the uh, can opener, it is the same company, the Stubby Company out of Missouri. So you can get the red one here for about uh, $9, quite a bit less. And we see there's also a white version and a blue version. Now we're back up to $13. But as far as I know, they're all the same model. Perhaps they're not. Uh, I haven't bought these other ones. But just take a look around and you can see what's out there. Hey, and finally, one last thing before I do close this video out. I just wanted to show you the back of the card that the can opener comes on. And in case you can't read it for yourself, it says, Made in USA. The John J. Stubbe Company has made the parts for this can opener for nearly 50 years. Some of these openers are still working 40 years on. It's been said that certain traditional values which made our nation great no longer exist. Nonsense. John went 42 years without laying off a single employee. As a matter of fact, I do recall when I first got this, I did go look up their website, uh, and they did note that they had never laid off a single employee up until 2008 when this most recent financial debacle started. Well, in any regards, I am not affiliated with this company whatsoever. I'm just pleased to be able to find a quality product made in the USA at a fair price, and I just wanted to pass on the word and share it with everyone else. All right, have a good day. Cheers.